Hello everybody, CordyCat175 here, and I'm going to teach you, or show you guys, how to play Crossing Over from Five Finger Death Punch. It's not going to be the whole song, it's just going to be the verse and the chorus. Um, that's, because that's the only bit I know. Um, well, let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to do is you're going to take your first finger and bar it over the second fret on six, five, and four. Strings six, five, and four, the top three strings. Um, and so you're gonna go down on them, just like this. And so how right, you're gonna do that is you're gonna take your string six, fret two, strum it. String 5, fret 2, and string 4, fret 2, and you're just going to go down. Now, once you get to string 4, you're going to take your ring finger, and you're going to put it on fret 4 of string 4, and you're going to strum it like that, and you're going to take it back off, string 4, fret 2, string 5, fret 2, and string 6, fret 2. So, it's just going to be like that. So, once again, string 6, fret 2, string 5, fret 2, uh, string 4, fret 2, string 4, fret 4, string 4, fret 2, string 5, fret 2, and string 6, fret 2. Now, that's the first part. There are three parts. The second part it's just like the first part except one you're not going to go back down and two your pinky string six is going to be on fret five and you're going to use your pinky for that so put your pinky on fret five on string six and you're going to strum that once and then you're going to take your pointer finger straight string five fret two string Four fret two, and then string four fret four. And I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this, but you're gonna be. This is gonna be on the drop D tuning. Five finger death punch usually has a drop B, but that's not needed for what I'm gonna teach you. So it's just just drop D. It works. It's it works the best. Um, sorry about that. I forgot to tell you. So let's get back on to the third part. You're gonna go open on string 6, open on string 5, fret 2 on string 5, and open on string 4. And just strum down. You're not going to go back up, you're just going to strum down. The only time you're going to go back up, you're going to reverse it, is whenever you do the first part. So, it, it's string 6, open. String 5, open. String 5, fret 2. String 4, open. Now, I've been learning the song by ear, so I don't know exactly how it goes, so this is what I heard, this is how I think it's going to go, so, yeah. That, so, the, that's the first verse all together, well, that's all the verses all together. It's going to sound like this. And you're just going to repeat that pretty simple. Um, next is the chorus. I don't know the pre-chorus or the solo. I'm still kind of working on it. It's not going to, it's going to take me a little bit. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to use a lot of, well, it's all power chords to be honest. Um, and you're going to be palm muting a lot and changing strings and frets a lot. Well, like every song, but Okay, let's get started. On the on string five and string four. Fret two, string five, fret four, string four. And then you're gonna strum once. And you're gonna hold it. Don't palm you that. I'll tell you when to palm you. Um you're gonna then you're gonna jump down string six and five on fret two. And then you're gonna palm you that once and quickly 
go open on string five and six. Palm mute once quickly. Go to fret five, string six and five. And you're gonna palm mute it a few times. I don't know exactly how many, but once you're done, you're gonna jump back down to fret two on string six and five. No palm muting, and then once you're done with that, you're gonna jump sh straight back down to five and four, five open, four fret two, and then you're gonna jump up, no palm mutes, back up to where you started. Fret five, I mean fret two, string five, fret four, um, string four, so just like that. I want to gather the chorus. It's gonna sound like this. So yeah, um, on this part you're gonna strum, you're gonna palm it three times, open once, and then two times, and then jump down. So my apologies. So when you when you I'm gonna get back on. So. On that part in the verse, you're gonna palm mute it three times once. Yeah, you're just gonna hold it, palm mute it three times once, hold it, and then palm mute it twice, and then jump down. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, that's it. Drop D tuning. Um, all together. If you dare me to show it to you, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you. So it's all. You're gonna sound like this. Subs, um, I play a lot better whenever I actually have the music going. So, and it's like that with a lot of people. Um, one quick thing, and I'm gonna show you this. This is, part's easy. This is okay for the at the end of the first chorus. I forgot to add this. Of the first chorus, you're gonna you're not you're gonna actually not you're, the second part. You're gonna skip this bit on the second time. You're gonna go from. Fret two, string six. Slide up to fret nine on string six. Strum once, and then at the end of the third chorus, you're gonna use inverted power chords, is what I believe they're called. And you're gonna be, you're gonna palm mute these the whole time. Not actually palm mute where it just goes, but just you know out here at the edge so it goes. And you're gonna go ring finger on string. Six fret six, and then pointer on string five fret four. Then you go down one fret, then one down down one more fret, palm mute and hold, let off and hold. That was it. Crossing over five finger death punch, easy song. Um, once again, I had to learn it by ear, and I play a lot better whenever I'm actually have the song. I'm actually listening to the song. Um, drop B tuning, like I said, five finger death punch uses drop B sometimes with the fist. I know death before dishonor they used open B, but I don't know about the rest of the album. Maybe they have, maybe not. Um, that was it. Cordy Cats 175. Thank you for watching. See ya.